All right, Republicans want to cut spending to save taxpayers money. One in particular wants to take it a bit further. Congressman Thaddeus McCotter wants to eliminate the House Republican Policy Committee to save taxpayers what he says is about 360000 bucks, And he's the committee's chairman. He joins us now very quickly. Uh, thank you much for joining us. How would this work? you think it's going to happen, or are you making more of a symbolic statement? Well, I hope it would happen. It's the first step to showing that we're about deeds, not words. As you mentioned in your earlier report, we have talked about how we can start to wean people off unemployment benefits. Well, how can anybody in the Congressional Republican Caucus in the House come around and talk about making difficult choices and spending for real people if they aren't willing to start with themselves? Well, Congressman, unfortunately, we've talked a lot about jobs in this program. And, and if you were successful in doing this, wouldn't this come out of staff or pay? Would this hurt? some of the lower level folks that work on that committee? It comes out of the taxpayer's pocket first and foremost at a time when, as someone in Michigan, we see family budgets restructuring for a difficult economic time. We see businesses restructuring. We know the government has to restructure. As a Republican committed to smaller government, to limited government, we cannot have any moral credibility if we refuse to start with ourselves and only ask sacrifice of others. So it would be, so it would be painful, but you're still willing to push through for it. Do you have support? for this from other committee members? We're seeing support from people inside the House Republican Caucus. I would hope that we would be able to do this, because not only would we be, would we be able to get rid of Republicans' uh, largesse to give back to taxpayers under the formula in place, would also require the Democrats to make a determination as to where they would cut a similar amount and would force them to determine whether they love spending more than they loathe us. Well, not all Republicans on board either. Eric Cantor telling us this, quote, it is important for Republicans to develop Common sense conservative policy alternatives to cut government spending, save taxpayers money and offer a clear alternative vision to that of Speaker Pelosi and the president. To that end, it only makes sense that the policy committee contribute to that effort, even if its current chairman hasn't thus far. What do you make of that? Well, I think Eric's absolutely mistaken in his assumption. This is all we've ever heard out of the status quo in Washington. The reality is all of this can be done through the existing House Standing Committees, through existing offices and elsewhere. And in terms of getting the message out, we have a conference committee leadership position that does that. We spend over a million on it. We spend over a million on the WHIP's office, spend millions on the leader's office. We can make a small, significant step to return it. And as for uh, the WHIP, I would encourage him, especially when he's got his U-Cut program up there, to start turning it into We-Cut first. Is this a split in the Republican Party here? No, I think it's just an opportunity for us to show the people who are relying on us to have learned our lesson to see that we actually have started to prove it. Congressman Thad McCotter of Michigan, sir, thank you very much for joining us here on Your World.